Hi, this is Doug and Cindy with Help Me Help Mama 5 Cast. Thanks for joining today. And today we've got a question from a reader with, you know, this is unfortunate. We're seeing more and more early dementia, early Alzheimer's. Young onset Alzheimer's. Yeah, yeah and it's striking at younger ages. Mm -hmm. And uh, this particular viewer, the doctor had told them something like, you need to get your affairs in order. And they wanted to discuss that, like, well, if a person, and that'd be a sobering thought, wouldn't it? Oh. oh. So if a doctor was to say something like that, what would you need to do to, quote, get your affairs in order? Really, they probably need to do the same thing that we all need to do, except they might need to speed it up just a little bit, right? Absolutely, because number one, you have to have the capacity to do this type of planning and time is of the essence. Capacity so, is a slippery slope. It, it can is. go quickly sometimes. It is. It is. And events can happen to make it progress more rapidly. So the first thing to do is to determine what you want, you the quality of life that you want, where you want to be, who you want around you, who you want as caregivers, as advocates. What are your preferences? So that's Number one, you determine what you want. And that gives you the groundwork to lay out a plan. Now, there are a lot of things that people don't know. I mean, it's like the resources in the community. Um, maybe family can help, but if they can't help, are you aware of the resources in the community where you can get help, the type of help? Um, the second part of this is going to be legal documents. If you have the capacity, what legal documents should they put in place? Well, it's different from everyone, and you should definitely see your attorney about this because, um, like Cindy said, it's important that you get these documents in place while you have capacity. You may need a will or a trust. Uh, you probably need a power of attorney if you don't have one. Uh, you'll probably need some sort of health care documents, like in our state, it might be referred to as health care power of attorney or private living well, uh, HIP authorization. I mean, depending on your situation, you may need documents in place to protect assets, uh, If depending on how much time you've got, you know, to, uh, to protect assets from being depleted due to nursing home spend down in the future. So there's several things you may need, but uh, there's no time to waste in a situation like this. So get with an elder law attorney or state planning attorney and discuss these things to see what documents you may need. The third element of this planning is the finances. Look at your finances. Once you determine where you want to be and who you want around you, you can estimate in the calculation how much that's going to cost. So how much of your resources are you going to use and what type of benefits may you be able to access down the road? And you alluded to it, but the plan itself, who do you want making these decisions? And this is, this obviously will involve a family meeting, you know, or yes. if you're going to be leaning on the kids, you know, and you want some assistance from your adult kids, do they have uh, the time to devote to toward uh, your care and I mean um, you're you helped with your mom and it you know started off taking just a couple hours a day and then it more time and more time it can take a, a ton of time but mom was older she was like 86 when I started yeah. this and if you're diagnosed at 52 your children are much younger yeah <laughs> so yeah, you're going to have you're going it's going to be critical that you plan and your kids may have young kids and they've got a lot of activities going on and they just don't have a lot of time so are they even though they love you and want to help do they have enough time in the day between that and their job and everything else to do what is necessary help provide for the care and as Cindy said finances is a big part of it if there's <laughs> money to, to pay for all of this so a lot of factors to consider definitely want to do a mom-centered family meeting uh, and we use the word mom it could be mom dad or spouse but we want to have a family meeting as soon as possible to discuss these things well we hope this information helped today go forth and have a great week thank you for being a caregiver for your loved one you're making a huge difference in their life 
So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and click on that little notification bell to be notified the next time we do a video. And if you want to interact with us, check out the description below and leave us a comment and let us know what legal or caregiver topics you'd like to hear about.